Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I do a dot mandala from a stencil. I'm going to use a white charcoal pencil to do the outlines from the stencil and then work my way from the inside to the outside and show you exactly how I do a dot mandala. So if this is something that you have trouble with, then keep on watching. So here we have a small stencil. I've already drawn the guidelines underneath, but just so you can see how it's done, it's pretty straightforward. And here we have the guidelines all drawn up, ready to go. Now it's uh, a lot easier to start from the inside and work your way out, I find. I always start with the center dot and work my way out from there. I'm going to be using these small tools as well. I've bent these and you can see how I, how I do that in a previous video on my channel. And I'm also going to be using these dotting rods as well. These came from Happy Dotting Company. You can get various types online. So to start with, I'm going to be using a white paint. I use Jo Sonia's paints. I'm located in Australia, so this is one of the best paints you can get. It's just an acrylic paint. And I actually have little tubs that I put all my colors into. Just It just makes it a lot easier, have, you know, taking the lid off and dotting straight from the container rather than using paint trays all the time. So I'm just gonna start on the bigger circle in the middle and work my way to the outsides, as you can see. I'm going to use the blue rod, which is one of the larger ones. It's probably a medium to large size tool. And I'm going to put paint on the whole surface of the rod. Not too much, as you can see. It's just a nice well up of paint on the bottom. You wanna have a nice smooth consistency in your paint. Now you gotta make sure that you're holding down the cardboard or the canvas if you're painting on canvas. Just because the bigger the tool, the more it will stick to the cardboard and lift and there'll be a bit of bounce. So just make sure you hold down the piece of cardboard or paper that you're practicing on. And you just want to press just lightly. You don't need to apply too much pressure. And lift so you've got a nice well up of paint in the middle of the dot there as you can see. So I'm just going to zoom in for this part. I've got the largest of the small nail art tools and I'm going to do bigger dots around the center large dot. As you can see, I always do top, bottom and then the two sides first. From here, you can just do one or two dots in between each. I'm doing one dot in between, as you can see. Feel free to pause the video anywhere you need and copy the design. Now I'm going to be using a really light shade of pink. As you can see, it's a um, pastel pink color, baby pink. I'm gonna gradually use a couple darker shades of pink. So I've just zoomed in again here so you can see. I'm just placing these dots, the same size as the last dots I did, right in between the other dots going around the circle. From here, I'm gonna get a slightly darker shade of pink, just slightly darker. And just do some more dots. Do another circle around these ones. Now the different shades of um, pink, starting from white and working your way out to a darker pink, really gives it a nice effect. It's a, a secret that I like to do with my artworks. Um, using the gradient of colour, I think, just gives it another layer of uh, depth, which I really love and my followers really love too. So, 
yeah, it's good to kind of do um, a nice variety of colours and a gradient of colours. Right, so now I'm getting a, another shade of pink, slightly darker. And I'm going to use a bigger tool now because I've got quite a big gap between the last uh, circle of dots that I did. So now I'm going to get a, a bigger tool, which is one of the smaller rods and actually do bigger circles. So I'm sticking to that guideline, the circle going around, as you can see, and putting the dots in the same place around the circle. So feel free to pause the video if you need to. But I'm going right in between the last circle of dots I did, the smaller ones but I'm also sticking to the guidelines of the circle going around as well. There we go, that's looking pretty cool already. You see the gradient of pink there? I love it. So now I'm gonna be using the darkest of my pink colors. As you can see, this one's a real um, beautiful shade of magenta. And I'm going to be using the bigger tool again, going in between the last circle of dots that I did in that darker shade of pink. And this really gives the, the gradient of pinks a lovely effect and gives it a lot more depth, which, um, yeah, which I really love. Right, so now I'm going back to the white paint and a smaller nail art tool. This one's actually gonna be the second smallest nail art tool that I'm using, this size. And I'm just gonna do a white dot on each of the guidelines going around, as you can see, on the tip of each pink larger dot. And I'm going to actually walk the dots around the sides of the pink dots with this tool, as you'll see. Just follow along. So I've just zoomed in for this so you can see how I'm going to walk the dots down the sides. So you just need to do one dip of the paint and as you go down the sides with each dot, they'll get smaller. Now you can only do this with these tools. You can't really do this with the rods. You can try, but you can, you'll can you only be able to get out one or two dots. So, or, well, maybe two or three if you're lucky. But with these tools, because it's a smaller amount of paint, you'll be able to walk the dots really well with these. Practice makes perfect. so. Practice on another sheet of paper a few times before you do this if you want. And as you practice, obviously the better you get. Now I'm gonna go down the other side. And just follow along as I do this. So now I'm going to get an aqua colour, really light colour aqua. It's kind of like an aqua blue colour. 
and uh, I'm going to do a, another row of walking the dots to give it a flower-like effect. Feel free to follow along and pause the video wherever you need to. And now I'm going to go down the other side again. Now I've got a darker shade of aqua and I'm going to do another row around these ones just to give it more of a gradient effect again. You know I love my gradients. So this one's just going to be slightly darker than the last colour I just did. And I'm just starting with the bigger dots with a bigger tool. And now I'm just going to get the smaller nail art tool and just walk the dots down the sides again. So I'm just going to use a darker shade of the aqua colour now. This one's got a lot more blue in it. And I'm going to use one of the smaller rods just to get a slightly larger dot on the outside. I like the um, row of dots coming out to be slightly bigger as they come out further just to give a little bit more depth to the picture. So as you can see, I'm just going to do single dots around the outside first and then get the nail art tools and do more dots around the sides. Just follow along. And here we go guys, it's looking really good and I'm quite happy with uh, these colours. As you can see the gradients really give it uh, another level of uh, depth and I think it looks really effective. Now 
Now I'm going to do larger white circles in between sticking to the guidelines as you can see. I'm going to do this around the whole painting. And from here, I think I'm going to do some more walking of the dots. I'm going to use the white paint to start with and uh, work my way out with uh, some more colour gradients again. And this time I think I'm going to use a lighter shade of purple and then a darker shade of purple. So just follow along. Feel free to pause the video where you need to. Just with the dark purple, I'm only going to do one side of the petal. I'm actually not going to walk the dots down both sides this time. So this can actually give it a really nice effect, as you'll see at the end. It's up to you whether you want to do both sides or not. Just depends what you like. So from here I'm actually going to fan out the blue colour, the aqua colour, and I'm just going to, as you can see, just fan out the dots so they get smaller and smaller the further out that I go. And it just gives yeah, a really nice uh, depth to the painting. And just be sure to stick to the guidelines and stay as straight as possible. This is important because you'll really be able to tell if you don't. And just to finish off, I'm going to do one more bigger circle of dark purple around the outsides of the petal, just to fill in the um, space there, I suppose. I think it might just give it a really nice effect. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that you found it helpful. Um, please feel free to share with your friends uh, or to comment below if you'd like me to do any other videos if you're having trouble with anything. I'm always looking for ideas so feel free to uh, let me know and you can also follow me on Facebook Jessie D Designs and uh, get in contact with me there as well. And also remember all of my stuff is for sale. Thanks guys, see ya.